Beanie Man responds to popcorn being dropped from Drake's song, Controller. Shauna Chain strikes back at Gullibop's current girlfriend, Amari. And later, we have Devin the Doctor. And I'm going to tell you how to rev out the RR. So stay tuned for that. This, this is, is The Rap. Rap. Hi guys, it's Jamila. And I'm D-Burn. Remember, you can download the CVM TV mobile app. Or you can watch us at cvmtv.com. Yeah man, that fire for So, Jamila, really, really like the outfit. Sabri true, big up on yourself. But, hey, the blue look nice for you. Yeah. Thank you, but it's not really a happy reason why I'm wearing blue. I'm feeling kind of blue. You know, sad. Why I feel kind of blue and sad? Because Kylie Jenner and Tiger broke up and, you know, that's my girl and I feel sad. So, actor comedian... You don't care? Hey, you don't care? Not really, but we have more important things for you. Like, Donald Iceman Anderson recently recorded in brand new album at Tough Gang Studios. And unlike his 2015 album, Breadfruit Tree, which was solely comedic... This brand new album is strictly musical. Check it out. Donald Anderson, more popularly known as Iceman, is famous for his acting and comedic skills. <laughs> but this multi-talented entertainer has also been doing music since 2003 and has recorded and written songs for international acts such as Shaggy and Grams Morgan of Morgan Heritage. But in 2009, he took a break from the music scene. When my manager and I um, started working together, he said, Iceman, trust me, let us do the acting and get back to the music. So we've been rehearsing 12 new tracks for weeks now. And tonight we decided to lay them on the studio engineer's board. The album was recorded concert style with a live band and close friends such as IT who were invited to form a studio audience to listen in on the session. I don't know how many times it has been done, but this one marks my historic entry, re-entry into the music in this manner of a live taping, a live recording of, of an album. You see me? With audience and everything. Iceman's re-entry to music has also come with a new name. He now goes by the name Slash. His manager, Donovan Watkins, explains how the new name came about. The man come to me and say, he has always been known as actor slash comedian slash singer slash everything. So now he's going as Slash. Slash is as contemporary, in my opinion, as it gets. You see me, I say, to, to compete with the other contemporary names. <laughs> The eclectic album is compiled of 12 fun and enjoyable tracks and it has shown growth and an evolution of his musical style. This album will have roots rocking reggae, modern reggae, there's even a soca song on it. There's something for everybody who listen music and who listen to quality music. The quality of the music is so good that it even appealed to newly Christian convert Ian I.T. Ellis. Well, a good album, man, because I'm still at the end of the recording and I full joyed it. You know, full joyed it. Slash's album is set to be released this summer and is guaranteed to make an impact in the musical landscape. You know it's Warlord in the building checking out Pan the Spot. So you know it's the big studio vibes production. Warlord hit single. Me no one no. Don't tell me who your rich coming no one no. Don't tell me who was rich coming no one no. Bounty Killer is back with his new single No One No on the game changer rhythm done by Studio Vibes Records. The rap was granted an all-access pass to shoot the behind-the-scenes of the single that questions some of Jamaica's most topical issues. The video depicted Bounty Killer addressing social issues at a press conference with information-hungry media practitioners. Officially declare. The Jamaica International Invitational Meet open. Jamaica International Invitational's 13th staging was officially opened by Minister Babsy Grange, which was also attended by the opposition leader, the Honorable Portia Simpson Miller, former Prime Minister PJ Patterson, and other dignitaries. Win. This 
this meet quenched the thirst of sports fanatics who were out in their numbers to see Jamaica's top athletes, which included the now 200 meter starter Asafa Powell and a host of overseas athletes. In addition to the sports, there was entertainment. And in the mix included performances by Bounty Killer, Busy Signal, and Bugle. Flo, a major sponsor of the meet, spoke of the Jamaica International Invitationals as a start on the road to the Rio Olympics 2016. Flo is happy to be a main sponsor of the Jamaica Invitational this year. It's been a spectacular event, but this is really the start of our journey to the Rio Olympics. So Jamila, I have a question for you. What? Would it matter to you if your ex-boyfriend and him new girls start talking about things about United Streets? I don't think so, no. Mm. Mm -mm. No, why ask me that? Because Gullibap and Amari are at it again, and this time it's all about Shana Chin. But the rap has an exclusive interview with Shana Chin as she defends herself. I'm calling my name every day, then post up my name, then send me a lesbian, then, then just make everybody love me more. Gullibap, Amari, and Chin are at it again. The trio, less known for their music, but more so for their personal lives, reminds us of the age-old question. What is love? Amari, who is now a YouTube sensation, chronicling her life with Bop, recently posted this video. Chin, I'm ready for you now. Oh, you can't deal with man all this time and have him look like that. You are drunk, or girl, you know, and ambition. And so, the cup has finally runneth over. And Shauna Chin, in this exclusive, has finally responded. But they want to fix him out and fix it long time. While she didn't worry about that, she would do fair job now since I share kiss him. I mean, they take care of him out, can't go dentist, go clean him out. So when time me I kiss him, I know who me I kiss. No, I know who you kiss, can kiss everybody. It's all about Bob's famous mouth, so says Amari in this recent interview. He definitely knows how to eat meat with one too. But is it true? Does Bop really like to eat meat? And if so, what kind of meat are we talking about? <laughs> Lord Jesus, I'm not get there saying that. But, but I don't believe that part there, so Bop put him out. Don't, don't that so? And she, and you can't even stand for look on her. Right now, every video where you see you should put up, you can't see that Bop not even one day in the video. I buy blue pill in Europe enough. And can't even Jamaica. I want my money to spend on blue pill. Pay a million dollars to fix the thing, you know. So right now she owe me. That's the thing. She owe me for the medical bill when I pay a million dollars to fix the thing. Never get too much use out of it. So right now I share take it. She didn't forgive me about our fight. It just goes to show that there is a difference between being famous and infamous. Just because people are talking about you, that doesn't mean it's good for you. I say me a lesbian, I me a this, I me a that. Stay focused on something else here on your love. And top watch Not going nowhere. Because next up, we have a beanie man who's gonna clear up some accusations that he stole Popcorn Shine from Drake's album Views. <laughs> We're so far. So, Popcorn has been trending all over social media with his recent arrest in Antigua and his being dropped from Drake's album Views on the song Controller. So you know the man in the middle, Beanie Man, he's hopefully gonna clear up some of those rumors. Check it out. The internet has been lit with Jamaican choice words for Drake when Popcorn was dropped from his popular rendition of Controller from his number one album Views, which has sold over a million copies in its first week. Although the Canadian rapper opted for the king of the dance hall, Beanie Man, the internet felt Popcorn was betrayed. Despite what many believed, Beanie Man's intent was not to steal Popcorn's shine. I don't know nothing about Popcorn and Drake part. I, that's that nothing to do with I. But some people make it look like I try to steal thunder, you know? I'm the king of the dance hall. I don't steal thunder. The thunder is all mine. People, stop disrespecting me. Popcorn, I'm a friend, I'm an artist, I love him to death. I, I don't know really, I don't really know what happened, but why Drake taking out Popcorn have a song, but it's not my fault. 
His addition to the song Controller was a sample of one of his earlier songs. Man like me to sing a song for so long that been number one everywhere that dance and music player. And the Drake to use it now and his album, regardless Popcorn was on it or, or on it, it's a great look for me. It's a great look for my career. It's a great look for dance and music. People need to see it as that. Got a lot of people trying to drain me of my energy. Beanie Man has this to say to his non-supporters. Keep your bad mind to yourself. Do not share to the world because people do not need bad mind. They need love and respect and honor. He also showed gratitude to Drake and his team. Anna Drake and his, his management and in, in company to, to get me this part and this song. And I hear that the album is, is, is mashing up the place. As he continues to be unstoppable and make even bigger strides, the doctor is working on his new album with the same name. We're actually writing the 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 the, the, the final song for the album. We kind of did like the last two the, the other night, so we have like one more left to send to the company and everything. Although this should have been released from last year, he explains the reason for the delay. We never have the right deal, so it never makes sense to put it out, you know. So, but this album is gonna be great. Trust me. Years of hard work, no man got money. So days like these, just a bright and sunny way. Is it safe to say it's a coincidence that the album will be released amidst all this controversy? Right now, is 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 not we being a opportunist. So you know, any man can say anything, but it's my album. You're supposed to know when it reached to perfection, you know? So right now the, the album is just reaching to perfection. When it finish mix and master, then it will be perfect. So since you're on the topic of Drake, have mm. you seen the video where Drake is bigging up Vibes Cartel? Yes, sir, did talking about his inspiration, free world boss, enough things. You know, as I mentioned that, <laughs> Probably if Cartel did their road, he would have on the album too, you know. So booked, so booked. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, if you guys have not seen the video, check it out now. Drake, free up world boss, obviously, all day. Adi Medadi, free up world boss. And I have a gift for you right here. What can you tell the people about Vibes Cartel? Please. Vibes Cartel is one of my biggest inspirations, one of my favorite artists. You want to talk about a guy you know coming out of somewhere who or coming out of uh, coming out of a place that has their own thing their own culture and absolutely just taking over becoming like the one person to idolize you know i was there i've been to jamaica you know when when the gully gaza thing was going on i've been there before i was there after and no matter what people are always always holding up vibes as an icon so big up vibes man he's he's definitely uh, a big inspiration to myself and and party next door <laughs> LNJ is an international dancehall duo composed of two artists, Fussman and CV. Fussman, where, where you here from? London, my boss. I'm from New York and we're both Jamaican, so London, New York, Jamaica, that's LNJ. LNJ. Living in separate countries might seem as a deterrent, which limits their musical blend. But the group explains how technology has helped them to manage despite the odds. When Mr. Fussman, See a ready me, see a track ya. Mm -hmm. Done quick and fast. Yeah man, thank God for technology man. Technology. Isn't it? Do all them thing there over the WhatsApp. You know what I mean? Ready me, them thing there. It's it easy, it's easy. This formula has been working so well as LNJ is making extraordinary strides internationally and on the internet with their hit single IG Girl. I'm in love with a girl. And while IG Girl continues to please their fans, them know about party. they promise their new single Party Up will drive even more momentum in the dance hall. Well, the people of Africa look out for the Party Up music video. I may tell you, say, a we say turn up, and a cartel, and a bounty killer, and a cargo. The party 
LNJ is not only turned with their music, but through their internet radio show Dancehall Review, their reach is limitless. The fan base international because Dancehall Music Review international, you know, World Wide Web. So we think they're limited, we're everywhere. People are checking from the web more time. They say, oh, we are checking from Italy, we are checking from Ghana, Guyana. Soldier man saying they are Iraq. Iraq, man, 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 Although they are yet to reach the height of their success, they have started a charity for autism. It's basically, um, to make people aware of autism and, and, and what it what is about. The charity drive started last year and the 2016 recipient was Anonesia School for Autism and Other Disabilities. Donated um, school supplies such as um, tablets and, and um, in, in the iPads. value of about iPads, in the value of about 250,000 Jamaican, Jamaican dollars. dollars. With their music career fastly growing, LNJ has more to offer than just songs. LNJ, we think they're limited to just music, everything. We are media also we sell. They say we will push artists, we put out rhythms, we have record label, we do everything. This is where you can follow the LNJ movement. First band LNJ on the IG. DMRCV, and like he said, at Zincflashrooms and also www.zincflashrooms.com. You have to log on to our website www.zincflashrooms.com. Jabbies Productions has been known to produce fun, laughter, and entertainment in all their productions. Their current play, Patrick Brown's Dopey Whisperer, never fell short on any of that. Check it out. I am Dr. C4. See ya. Future adjuster. Medium and Dopey Whisperer. Dr. Seifer has made an impressive reputation for himself to connect the living with the dead. He has won over the hearts of many clients who believed in his God-given gift, but in reality... Sim is a fraud. No good thing him have in common with Dopey's looks. This false Obia man has conned his way to success and has moved from rural Jamaica and is now living amongst the elite in Kingston. But the community didn't roll out the welcome mat for him and his wife. What you doing? It's bringing down the value of our home. Yes. Sky McGuinness, played by Sakina Deer, is the president of the Waterworks Community Association and her motive alongside her husband is to get them out of the community. When she comes into onto the scene, she already has made up her mind that she don't want them here. Adi, played by Camille Davis, is the wife and assistant to Dr. Seifer. Isn't this like the first time I've been married to Glenn? Yes. This is history. This is TV history, guys. I'm married to Glenn in this show. <laughs> Boy, me deserve, me deserve a Oscar. Dr. Seifer's conman activity has created this unity between him and his wife, Adi. You don't let me see if us join us. We don't set me free like a bird. See me do the picture. <laughs> Adi's frustration has led her to plot with the neighbors to run Seifer out of business. You want to get rid of your husband as much as we do? Dobby Whisperer utilizes realistic special effects that create the haunting feeling of being in the spirit world. Yo, special effects turn up. We, we'd be putting music to movement, all kind of things. So you're, you're in a 360, almost like a 3D. It's almost 3D. It's almost 3D. It's with the mind. It's almost like it becomes so real. The other night, the two people in the front row get up and run. With such an amazing production, Dopey Whisperer has won four Actor Boy Awards, two of which include Best Special Effects and Best Actor. Be prepared to come and enjoy yourselves. So I just came out and it was a really good experience. I laughed till I almost cried. We really like them things. I really wish for things like this. It really sent out the Jamaican in our world part. I don't know if I will not believe in a Dopey story, but trust me, I had a good laugh. Try not come near me! On the other side of the break, D Burns will be here in studio talking to Devin the Doctor and Double R about their new single, Rev Out the RR. Soon forward. Long time we want a man like you, we come Rev Out the RR. Jump on the bike, make you boom, 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 make it carry me. 
fireful crowd of people who are going. It's D Burns once again. And right now in studio with me, none other than Devin the Doctor and the Double R. Welcome to the rap. Terrible. All right, so me I hear about this new single from both of you that's called Rev Out the RR. Tell me about that song. <laughs> she laughed. <laughs> Just as it says, Rev out the RR. Rev out the RR. What, what is the R? I mean, your name is Double the R, R. And I mean, Double R mean R and R, which is RR, right? Yes. So when we say Rev out the RR, I wouldn't know, say I have an RR bike and them something. So we don't know what about the bike, what talk about, what, what exactly are we talking about here? Devin. Rev out the RR. All right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it, it's just Rev out the, the RR. All right, so it's a brand new single by Devin the Doctor and, and Double R. Mayor's going to go to Pan Reggae Sumfest as well, performing this song. Performing this song with like Wally Pop. I'm mad performance for Reggae Sumfest. I've seen seen some of the promotional pictures for the video, right? Now, i just like to know if the video itself is as risque as some of the pictures that I've seen. I wouldn't necessarily call it risque, but mm. however, it's a very sexy, sexy video. Sexy Dance video. or sexy video. Yeah. Devin carries gangster, I carry sexy. So it's definitely, video. Yeah, remember them, they're calling dance or queen this. Yeah, yeah. That type of vibe. That, 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 that real gangster, you know? Real you know? gangster. <laughs> yeah. The gangster, we are rev out the R. Yeah, rev out the R. Oh, jeez. Yeah, we have a two RR. All right, two RR. Yeah, I jump on his RR, him rev out the RR. Okay, cool, cool, cool. How did how did the, how did the, the collaboration come about? What was the concept? How did you guys come together and say, "Hey, I could build a song about revolt some RR." You know, funny enough, it was the producer Christopher Birch who actually made contact with our management. Both of us are managed by Shelly and Curran, and he thought that he had a rhythm that was coming out and thought that both our songs would collaborate well on the rhythm. So that's how that came about. Went to the studio, made the song, and. The actually. And not even that song. Mm. Remember, so I did that. And next time, we didn't remember the other song. It was supposed to be like an uplifting yeah. Yeah. But <laughs> song. Then after that, and it went like, far left. So, yeah, so how you move, how you move from an uplifting song to a. Right, part, then after after that part, then I'll the song. After that uplifting part, then I want then. She offered me some drink, yes. and then went and she walked. I said, no, sir. All right, for Revo the RR. That's All right, and, and thus, Revo the RR was conceptualized and yeah. recorded. All right, so there you have it from Devin the Doctor and RR. Well, double R, my apologies, as them talk about Revo the RR and boom, sound like them Gashman and them something, you know what I mean? So, it's fireful. The rap. Long time me oh. want a man like you, fi come Revo the RR. Right, I mean, she want to Revo the RR. <laughs> See? She said right here, saying, me, she want to the RR, not Devin the Doctor. Thanks for tuning in to the rap. You don't know the thing, go. Fireful. It seems that there's a new online shopping craze in Jamaica, and it has been taking the entertainment industry by storm. Yeah, we know about it because we sign up and we order our goods. So take out your phone. It's time to download the Carib Shopper app. My Atina! Welcome to the Instagram Actress. Carib Shopper was launched November 2015 and the Carib Shopper fever has taken over. Celebrities such as Yandy Phillips, Tansa Blacks, Beanie Man and girlfriend Crystal Tomlinson have showed support for Carib Shopper. My Atina! Just get me red buttons and my kickers. My rich! Check out my new brand sex when I put it on. I can open my box. Red! Oh, what's rich? Bless you, bless you. Bless you. So what is this thing called Carib Shopper that all these celebrities are talking about? We had to reach out to CEO and founder Kadian Preston for all the answers. Carib Shopper is an online portal that allows the Caribbean community to shop online. If you're trying to shop online without a credit card, Carib Shopper is the only solution for you. You basically go to any top-up location um, that has a go sign on it, which is there are about 1,500 in the country currently. Um, you go in, you ask to buy a Carib Shopper voucher, you pay for the voucher um, in J dollars, J currency, you get, you get a, a receipt and on that receipt is a 16 digit code. That 16 digit code, you log into your Carib Shopper account, you plug that code in and instantly that balance that is credited to your account and now you're able to shop. So you don't need credit cards to shop online anymore from the Caribbean. You can do it from your handset, from your phone, if you have an Android or if you have a or, or if you have an iPhone, or you can do it from your tablets 
or from your computer. So how does he feel having all these celebrities on this amazing platform? And he's using the service to try and to get uh, a pair of clocks for his girl was excellent. You know, he got it in record time, um, delivered directly to him and he was very happy. His girl was excited. So, you know, it was exciting to see, you know, the superstars log on and shop on the site. And then what was even crazier is when they when they posted about us, we were elated. I mean, the, 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 the traffic that we got from, you know, just a Yendi's post was, huge to us and we really appreciate them reaching out I mean and it shows it can help out definitely in, in entertainment in, in the Caribbean Delivery to your doorstep is done in less than seven days and don't worry about the duties and hidden costs because Carib Shopper has got you covered uh, a laptop you go online you go to Best Buy or Amazon click on the laptop you like it um, you go through you run through the steps add it to your cart, click pay now. We tell you exactly what your custom duties are, your shipping cost, before you even press confirm, before you even pay for the goods. So you know exactly what you're paying for. The next time you ask for a top up, top up and use Carib Shopper to shop on the major US online stores through one app. There's no need anymore to ask, to ask anybody for help. Call your family members to buy an item for you or go to a friend with a credit card and say buy this for me and I'll pay you back and I have to pay them extra because they do you a favor. No, you can just go to your local top-up location, buy a top-up voucher for the items that you want, log, log into your Carib Shopper account, um, load the voucher number and shop. Dear friends, guess what? What? Kamara's back. So you know that means we have the weekly roundup here right now. Hi, Kamar. First, I am Kamar and this is your weekly roundup. So in light of the two American missionaries' deaths, CNN reporter Ashley Benefield stated that Jamaica was a violent country. A lot of people think of Jamaica as a paradise, but it is an extraordinarily violent country. And of course, the articulate minority armed with their keyboard responded. It's the of violence. Faye Ellington, aka Auntie Faye, hi teach, also responded to the statement by saying, quote, we are not generally known to get up with machine guns, walk into schools and theater, and shoot up people. Which led to numerous retweets. Retweets! Sorry. But the question on everybody's lip is, where did Miss Ashley get our information from? In the years 2009 and 2014, Jamaica recorded 7,567 cases of murder. And if brand Jamaica image wasn't damaged enough, this got happened. Get it. That's Jamaica National Romeo Parks, and as you can see in the video, nearly caused an international incident when he decided to bicycle kick this guy in the back. Now, I am not one to kick a man when he's down, but most of our guys like to are the first to not see somebody lose their mind on the field. Budget! Everybody did not anticipate the opening of the budget debate, including myself. According to Finance Minister Ardley Shaw, come July 1, you, me, everybody are going to get a tax break. On the flip side, they're going to tax the very ear we breathe for cover them grand plan, as if me not pay enough light bill already. Petrol I got increase, a stick of cigarettes I got increase. What else? What's fair? We had joke. Wait a second. Why did the Prime Minister go on Twitter to correct his finance minister? Is there a budget blunder? Thanks again for watching your weekly roundup. And if you like what you see here and you want to see more, please by all means visit my YouTube and the Facebook page. Until next time, walk good. 
Well, guys, that's the end of our show. And you don't have to big up Sabatru for my outfit. Thank you for tuning in. You don't know the thing. Yeah, we say big up Sabatru. You don't know. Follow them on Instagram at Sabatru. You don't know. Just natural big up on yourself. True, the Tash. You don't know. The large. The whole of ELR towers. Hey, Miss J, you see me this morning. You tell me, you see me on TV. And you like it. So big up yourself. Stop. You don't know the whole. You will massive Carlington. Big up yourself. Rene, big up yourself. You don't know the thing, large. Hey, Miss Judith Badley, I'm a friend. You don't know the thing. Go. Hey, just. You see me? Tune in next week. Thanks for watching our video. And if you like it, just subscribe to the page you now. And remember to like and share. And leave a comment. And if you want to see our next video, click the link below.